How's everybody doing today? And let me tell you, do we got a good episode of the Zero Overall franchise. If you guys are excited about it, let's try to hit 200 likes for today. But let me tell you why we have a good episode. Today, we're going to be talking about the upgrade system. I finally figured out a good one for us. I definitely think it's going to work for the first season. We may have to tweak it for season two, but I definitely like it for season one. Next, we're going to be talking about which players got upgraded by how much. We're going to take a look at the team and show you guys what the upgrades look like, what the upgraded players look like. And then three, we're going to be going into the draft. We're going to be getting some new players for the squad, especially for season two, because if we draft some bad players, we're definitely going to be hurting ourselves for the progression of this series. So hopefully the draft goes well. So if you guys are excited about this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And make sure you hit that bell notification icon. Even if you are subscribed, hit that bell notification icon so you know whenever, whenever a video does go live. And in the comment section, let me know if you guys enjoyed today's episode. And also, let me know what you guys think about the upgrade system. I It, it could use a little tweaks, but I want to know what you guys think about it. So, right now, on screen, bam, you're going to see the upgrade system. And here is the hitting upgrade system. So, for every two hits that a player got. I upgraded them one contact and when I say one contact that's both righties and lefties all right um, since you guys did vote that you did want to see upgrades every two months so we're gonna be going over the upgrades so every home run is plus five power again that's both righties and lefties an extra base hit is plus one power and plus one speed a stolen base is plus two speed and plus two steal that's like all the stealing categories um, so like aggressiveness stuff like that um walks every walk you got plus two vision and plus two discipline and then an rbi is one contact one power all right so those are the hitting stats um i didn't want to get too specific about certain things like um if they got doubles or if they had an average with runners in scoring position they got this and that i wanted to keep it a little bit simple so that's what we went with so for pitchers pitchers again i wanted to keep it kind of simple just because for season one i don't expect too crazy good like too um too good of stats from our pitchers so every five strikeouts it's two uh, it's an upgrade of two to every single per nine stat and they also get plus two velocity to all their pitches um and then you guys can see there's a 25 category and a 50 category so for the 25s that applies to these starters because starters do not pitch as much as some of our relievers some of our relievers are like 50 plus innings already and most of our starters are at like the 25 30 mark so we definitely had to kind of work around um, starters and reliever category so if you have less than 25 walks you get a plus five control to all your pitches um, this one should actually say if you have greater than 25 innings I'm just now noticing that I messed that up um, if you have greater the 25 innings pitched in a two months you get a plus five stamina boost and then for relievers if you have less than 50 walks plus five control and if you have more than 50 innings you get plus five stamina so again guys if you have more than 25 innings plus five stamina more than 50 innings you get plus five stamina so i messed up that part i'm sorry about that but if you do have less than five errors and this is for all players if you have less than five errors you get a plus five in fielding and you'd be surprised how many players on the squad had more than five errors in a two-month period so that's our upgrade system guys again what you let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i definitely want to hear your feedback so let's take a look at the pitching rotation some players have definitely improved some haven't that much at all and you guys can see what we're working with here wilbur wilson's our best pitcher right now in the starting rotation we got rufus Patton, kirby de paula Carson Lewis and Dallas West moving over to the bullpen. You guys can see our long relievers are doing a lot of the heavy load, like a lot of the heavy work. You know, they're, they're taking on a lot of innings and you guys can see why they've kind of got quite a bit of boost to stamina and their per nines. Um, Creed Hooper got a small boost. Cabrera, small boost. Kingsley Johnson is putting in some work. 20 strikeouts in just under 40 innings. He got a pretty solid boost there. Infante, Weeks. Fuentes and Boof Dunn. Boof Dunn, I'm going to treat as a starting pitcher because they don't use him a lot because he's a closer. So he's going to be treated as like the starting pitcher category for pitchers. So 
Next up, we're going to take a look at the lineup. And you guys can see some players got some nice boosts. We're in the 20s for almost every single player, except for Garfield and Dixon Day, which is a little disappointing. But everybody else, 20 or above, I like to see that. You guys can see um, everybody's stats here. Aguas was one of the players who had, like, he actually has quite a bit of errors. I think it was like 12 or something. Let me double check what he's got. 13 errors. That's, oh, it's so bad. But everybody else, for the most part, got a pretty decent um, boost in hitting and also fielding. Harmon had like eight errors, but then I think most other players were quite good with their fielding. Pierre Lafont is the only other player on the team besides Victor Victor Mesa to have a home run. The Frenchie is coming to play this season, and he definitely, I think he has to start in like left field, right? He's, he's hitting 50 points better than Fausto. And he's got a home run. I, I think Pierre Lafont has to start. Let me know what you guys think. That might be today's poll question. Does the Frenchie, top right hand corner of the video, does the Frenchie start over Fausto Reynal? Yes or no? Let me know what you guys think. But today, we're probably going to keep the lineup the same. And as you guys can see, June, the draft is four days away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the draft. I'm going to get everybody drafted. We're going to talk about who... You know who had good potential whatnot we'll, we'll review our draft picks and then we'll hop into today's game which i'm kind of thinking maybe seattle or even um maybe like the indians or the padres maybe the padres with tatis jr i think that's a good matchup for us so let's get into the draft i'll show you guys what we did at the end of it all righty so as you guys can see we're hopping into the padres game i'm gonna make you guys wait for the draft picks until the end of the episode so taking on the Padres, Tatis is hitting the ball very well. Machado as well. You got Hosmer. You got Luis Urias who's struggling at the dish. But it looks like some of the players on the Padres are struggling quite a bit. I can't really say much though because we're not hitting the ball too well either. But you guys can see Padres, Orioles. We're at Oriole Park. We're 0-81. Yeah, you saw that correct. At the halfway point of the season, we still haven't won a game. I still think the most we've scored in a game is four runs. Um, it's it's just a rough season. It really is. Linwood is going to be our DH for the night. Um, you guys saw that there was one change as well. Pierre Lafont, Frenchie, is in the lineup. And Rufus Patton is taking the mound for us. I mean, if his whip was the, the ERA... He'd have it. He'd have a pretty nice season. Too bad that's not the case. So, all right, Fernando Tatis Jr. is leading it off. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun with it. All right, kind of early on the slider. We got him 0-2 right now. It sucks that Patton only has three pitches. So we're gonna have to make sure we mix it up, change it up from time to time. Can Harmon make the play? He does. That's a nice little out right there. All right, we're gonna get greedy. We're going with the fastball again. Ooh, he just fouls it off. Man. Putting up a fight here in the first. A little change up in the zone. Oh, come on. Just swing and miss. We can only throw like 30 pitches with our starter. We can't afford half of them to be in the first. Oh, really? Machado's going to come back and do the Baltimore Orioles fans dirty like that. He's just going to take them deep. Up. Uh, uh. 24th home run for Machado. 384. I mean, I get it. It was hanging, but was it really that bad of a pitch? All right, he pitched number 20 of the first. And it's, uh, it's a base hit. Come on. Toss it in. They keep the inning alive with a line drive down the third baseline. Come on. We just, we started off really well. You know, we got two outs really quick. All right, we're going to get the, the out here at second. The inning is over. Damage done. Machado had to break the hearts of the Orioles fans once again. Taking it deep to left. <sighs> There's no way. That was a high fastball. I was waiting for it and everything, and we ground out. <sighs> so come on, Patton, dude, Patton, you gotta, you gotta hit your spots, bud. Oh, 
I mean, yeah, yeah, you threw a strike at least. I'll give you that, but come on. Let's get it in. It's going to be a double for Hunter Renfro to start the inning. And yikes, this, this game's already looking like it's going to be an ugly one. And uh, come on. Come up throwing. They're not going to send him. So it's going to be runners at the corners with no outs. Huh. It's a good start. One more, maybe? That's not bad. Okay, we do get an out. We are going to concede the run. But that is one run. All right. One out, one run. I mean, not the best of trade-offs, but I'll take it. Come on. We got we to gotta think a little bit smarter than that. So, it's not going to get easy. This out's not going to be easy. As I say that, oh, please, come on. Come up throwing. Make the play. Yes. One run scores, but I'll take it. We get out of that little tricky situation we were in. Is Perdomo going to get our first hit? He does. He drops it into right center field just over Ian Kinsler's head. And there we go. We're on the board with the hits. We're in the hit column off the hands, just inside outs it somehow. And now we got Langdon Linwood. Having a pretty solid month of June. One RBI. Brings his season total to two. Ooh, he's killing it. Oh, Langdon, did you really just hit into a double play? Please tell me you didn't. It won't be. You actually beat it out. I'll take, I mean, a fielder's choice. You kind of killed the rally, but, I mean, it's it's not terrible. 0-1, here we go. Nice little slider down in the zone. Can Felix Aguas make the play? Derek Jeter wannabe. There we go. He scoops it out the ground, too. Garfield Wallace. Where, where's this defensive ability coming from? Felix Aguas, all right. What'd you do? Watch some Derek Jeter highlights before the game. Makes the play. There we go. Let's head into the bottom of the third. Heidi, I don't need you telling us how bad we are. We already know. <laughs> we already know we're a bad team. We don't need you to tell us anymore how bad we are. Garfield Wallace, are you kidding me? No way. Oh my god, no way! Garfield Wallace! Oh my god! Are you serious? He had his power lasagna before the game. Oh, Garfield Wallace goes deep, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No way. Oh, he's getting down. You deserve it. What is... Oh, my God. Uh, what? Garfield Wallace. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. All right. Frenchie went down swinging. I w I'm just still befuddled by what Garfield Wallace did the boy just took oh what oh just speechless that's not good it's gonna be a double at least 32 speed. Ah, yeah, it's just going to be a double. Hmm. Well, that sucks. We had him. Elves back into the game. Can we not fall apart right now? Oh, that was a good. That was a good slider right there. All right, come on. High fastball. Do your job. Oh, there we go. Rufus Patton with the strikeout. Yeah, that's close. I don't like that. Full count though. I need one more strike from you. One more strike. One more out. There we go. That's the out. Aguas, no. No. Oh, you got to be You just made a Derek Jeter gold glove play the inning before. You couldn't just make the, the simple the simple grounder to your left, to your glove side. Okay. Woo. There we go. Patton goes four innings. That is, that is amazing. That is what we needed from our starter. We're only down one. 
and we got our three, four, five hitters up. This, I'm feeling something good coming up. Oh, that's a gapper. There we go. Maybe extra base. Ah, oh, it wasn't actually a gapper. Just a good hit to left center. 79 speed on first, though. That's a good start to the inning. I like that a lot. 3-1 count, though. I'm going to take. I want the pitch count to go up a bit. It was a strike, but I want to be patient here. Double play. Oh, man. That one hurts. That one hurts because I'm pretty sure that was ball four. And I was just I was being a defensive hitter there. It was ball four. Ooh. Ooh. And that's going to be out. Oh, it's going to get over Kinsler's head. And Perdomo's two for two on the day. Our catcher. It's one of our best hitters. And to be honest, I didn't think he was going to be able to do this. He's actually proven to be quite a good hitter for us. Alright, it's going to be the last out of the inning, unfortunately. But, okay. I mean, we did we did get two hits that inning. That's, that's We're breaking records, I feel like. Alright, we're going to go Kingsley Johnson. He got a big boost in the upgrade that we did for the month. So I want to see how he does. The Jamaican's taking the mound for us for once. I don't like his windup. What is that throwing motion? That is just gross. What? Someone needs to change that. That is ugly. Ugly as can be. Okay, that's going to be a base hit. So Tatis with 81 speed is going to be on first. Yikes. Not a bad sinker. I can't go for another mound visit. I can't talk to Kingsley because if I do, it's this is scoring the run 100%. We're not we're not stopping him. Yeah. Unfortunate. I can't talk to Kingsley because it'll force me to make a bullpen change because I've already talked to him once for lack of confidence. So I'm going to try at least. Don't you dare let Machado take second on us. You did. You let Machado take second. Are you serious? Perdomo, we got to work on this defense of yours. Uh, I'm not even... What? All right, Kingsley, you're done. You've let me down. You, you just let me down. So much. Oh, there we go, Blue. That's what I'm talking about. You're the man. Give me that call. Let's go with the, the sweeping, sweeping curve. We don't get him. All right. That's okay. Two seam up in the zone. That'll get him. I just need you to please catch the ball. Whatever you do, two hand it. Catch it with your shirt. I don't care. Just make the play. Thank God you did. But man, four runs. We're down now. Man, Fran Mill crushed that. That was a line drive. Whoever tried to catch that, I'm pretty sure you broke your hand. Oh, guess who's up again? One for one on the day. Garfield. Machado, go home. No one likes you here anymore, all right? You can't be taking away hits from Garfield like that. Stop it. Okay, two quick outs. All right, again, I don't like when this happens, though, because we always seem to just allow a home run or something. Oh, please make this play. It's... Just going to keep carrying. That's a double. I mean, he took it off the wall pretty clean, but Tatis has got the speed to beat, beat the arm there. So a double. A little, little unfortunate with two outs there. But like I said, we always seem to fall apart with two outs. Oh, man, that's going to drop, isn't it? Ugh, just over. Just over the head. Oh, they're going two? What do you, what do you mean you're throwing it there? What? What? Are you serious? That was a throw to second. Oh, you got to be kidding me, guys. Oh, man. 
Alright, this should be the out. I just took a... Can you, you get under it, please? Frenchie. We get out of that, but come on. How do you let... Uh, we had him dead at second, and you threw, threw it to someone that wasn't even covering second. Alright, we got full count to Fran Mill here. It's going to drop. Cover first. Alright, base hit for Fran Mill. Thought maybe we would have had him with the circle change there, but I guess not. So now they got Hosmer up. Just going to... Oh, man, we got to get those calls, Blue. Come on. Thought we were friends. Now Fuentes is almost out of energy, which kind of sucks. That's going to be another base hit there. So first and second, no outs. Please. I know the game's, you know, a five-run deficit, but let's let's just not let it get ugly now. All righty, Cabrera's coming in. He's not really that good. He's one of our worst-rated pitchers now after the after the update, quote-unquote. Oh, man. Come on. What do, you, what do you do taking your time there in right field? You let him move to third. Come on, you got to be a little quicker than that. I don't like that hustle. I don't like that hustle at all. Oh, yeah, come on, turn two. Turn two. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it and burn it. Let's go. Come on. McFarland, okay, you kept the ball in front of you, but you still let the run score, man. Could we have gone home with it? Maybe. Actually, we 100% could have gone home with it. We, we, we definitely could have gone home with it. Of course, we had Tatis 0-2, he works it to 2-2, and then he's going to get a double out of it. Come on, like we can't catch a break, nothing, nothing at all. I think that's getting down. Yeah, that sucks. They're probably still going to, yeah, they, oh, they didn't send Tatis, I think he could have beat the throw. Second and third, one out. This sucks. This is not good. This is not good at all. Machado. Just stop. Why do you do this? Why? You cr oh my. He crushed that. His 200th career home run. Oh, so I'm, well, I'm glad you did it here. I'm glad you did it here. 428 feet, too. All right, that's cool, I guess. Please catch it. He made the catch. It, it's gonna score the run. There's there's no stopping that. So eleven to one. It has gotten very ugly. At least we got the out though. You know that's that's a good start. Blue, you're killing me. Alright, please be the last out. Thank you. There we go. The inning's over. No more damage this inning. Ah, man. Base knock. There we go. That's a good start. Victor Victor Mesa leads it off with a single. All right. We just got to find a way to get him into scoring position now. I mean, that's that's decent contact. I'm not going to lie. We're going to send Victor Victor Mesa. Oh, wow. he's He would have been hosed if that's on if that's on target. So, that's... Hey, Perdomo, that was solid contact. I'm not even going to hate. It's all up to Linwood. Langdon Linwood. Can he do it? 0 for 3 on the day. Langdon, there we go. Get two on this one too. Come on, one speed. I want to see a double out of you. Oh, your host, your host. Oh, he gets a double. We get our second run of the day as well. Woo! 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Langdon delivers. And they're gonna bring in a guy for one out? Come on. Really? That's dumb. Oh, two to McFarland. Here we go. Good check swing. Good check swing. Alrighty. One, two. I need our third baseman to do something for us. That's the game. That's the game. Ah, oh, that's... That sucks. That sucks for sure. 12-2. That is a that is a whooping. But, dude, we scored our first... I, we didn't score, but we, we did score. Yes, yes, yes. But we had our first home run in a controlled game. Garfield, Wallace, you absolute amazing human being. A home run. A home run. Victor Victor goes three for four as well. Langdon Linwood got a double RBI. I, I'll take that. That's I like to see that. Machado, I hate you. Just don't ever show your face at this park again. But there's that. Let's go see how the draft went. I want to show you guys our picks. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, month is still pretty bad. We haven't won a game. It, it it's it's coming. I can feel it. It's coming, but not not yet so looking at our draft here we go look at those first four picks we had a compensation pick so that's why we have seven instead of six harvey barton a new lefty starter looks solid to help us out next season 72 overall with 88 potential damian santo 61 overall got 88 potential really good speed the arm strength kind of sucks I kind of think he'd fit a little bit better in left field, but decent contact stats like his vision. That's good. We got a new reliever, Robert Beattie, 66 overall, lefty as well. Very good K and hit per nine. I like that. Joaquin Villarreal, another lefty, very lefty heavy in the pitchers. You guys can see stats look decent, good velocity on his pitches as well. So we got another starter. Orlando Gonzalez, not the best of catchers. Um, but could potentially be a decent backup for Perdomo. We got Volpe, 75 potential. And then we have Chris Vargas, 72 potential. I really like the looks of our first four picks. Even the bottom um, don't, don't look too bad to kind of be platoon players for us next season. So there is the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, the right corner, the poll. Does Frenchie deserve to start instead of Fausto Reynal? Um... Oh, dude, I'm still just, ah, oh, I can't believe Garfield Wallace went deep. And he actually has two home runs now? What? What is going on? Fausto's got two home runs? What? What's going on? So much has happened. So much has happened in the last three days of the month. It's crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Let's try to hit 300 like or 200 likes on today's episode. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.